how are you <laughs> welcome back to our a reviews today we are doing a review on something that me and Hayley have both struggled with a lot but before we do that if you haven't joined already please hit that subscribe button and notification bell as that really helps support the channel so do you want to begin literally my favorite bit ringing the bell <laughs> <laughs> so, as you all know, me and Tara suffer with polycystic ovaries. We do. <laughs> and because of this, the one of the lovely symptoms that we get is dark hair growth. Yes. Now, me and Tara have been trying to deal with this for years. We've looked into going to have it done treatment professionally, and it's so expensive. We have waxed, we have plucked, we have trimmed, epilated. We've just cried at it, hoping that it will Cried go. at it, everything. <laughs> so we finally bit in the bullet. The bullet? we finally bit in the bullet. We have. And we have bought ourselves a Philips Lumia uh, Advanced Full Body and Face IPL Solution. So it is a laser therapy machine. Um, at home. At home. Now, I don't know how many of you out there have looked into prices of having... Um, individual laser sessions treatment. for the laser treatment but it is very expensive and if this works for us it's a much more cost effective option however you do have to do it yourselves so before we carry on <laughs> i'd just like to say that we are not being paid for this review we are not we being are not. sponsored for this review this is um we must she's bought this um, and it is based on our own opinion. We are not medically yeah. trained. We are not medically any... trained and we are not trained in using this machine. Obviously no, no one is no, who buys it, but no. um, we are literally unboxing and trialing and this will We just wanted to share with you what view. our experiences are with this. Yeah. Because we have struggled with it so long, we understand how uh, frustrating. How miserable, frustrating and miserable it can make yeah. you when something on your body is Although we're naturally supposed to grow hair in our society, you know, when you've got hairy yeah. chin, you're a woman, you don't your reactions aren't great from people. Some people are fine with it. And Absolutely. That is amazing. But as far as me personally, mm. it really affects my self esteem, my mental health. Absolutely. Everything. Body image. It's just, yeah. you know, it's a struggle. So. This is how it comes. Nice little neat package. Yeah. We're gonna open it here. She says. <laughs> so obviously it comes with your instruction booklet. You all need that. Make sure you read through the instructions and follow them step by step. We will be going through them as we, we are will. testing and trialing it. So your main piece of equipment here is what we call the laser gun. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like something out Star Trek, doesn't it? It, it does. It looks like I'm about to ring, fight ring, with ring. it. Um, it's not overly heavy. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's quite comfortable to hold. We've got the main button, which flashes the light. As you can see on here, you have your on button, and then you have your five different settings. So what we also have on here is interchangeable heads. Now I'm going to get out the rest of the heads so that we can show you which ones are which. So, as I was saying, Philips Lumia has interchangeable heads. It has a four centimeter head, which is for your body. I'll put a photo up now so that you can see these different types of heads. Yeah. So four centimeters is for your body, and then you've got two two centimeter ones. One is for your face, and the other one is for your bikini. The main one that me and Tyra are gonna be using is actually for our faces, as that's where we mainly suffer with um, excessive hair growth. Yeah. So you've got your interchangeable heads, you've got your Lumia gun, as we call it. You've yeah. got your instruction manual. Again, please read through this. There is um, a lot of information here. If you're on certain medications, you shouldn't be using it. If you've got a certain skin tone, you shouldn't be using it. Um, so please make sure that you go through this. Definitely. Um, and we, obviously, to the point, we weren't even sure if I'd be able to use it, were we? We weren't but sure, so... Um, I think we're okay. We're going to do a test, so... So, Tara, if you could just plug this in for me. So, here is the instructions manual. Please read through this, as there are certain medical conditions and medications in which you will not be able to use this if you are taking mm. them. 
You will also not be able to use this if you have certain skin tones um, and certain coloured hair. So please make sure you read through this very carefully before even attempting to use this. Yeah. So I'm going to pop that back. Now my one actually came uh, with a facial trimmer as well which you can see on the picture now. Yeah, which you can see on the picture now. So it's just a little stick, which has a little trimmer on the top. And this particular one also came with an adjustable um, hair length. Oh, that's good. Yeah, which I is like that. quite handy. Um, now, before you use this, uh, you will need to do um, testing. So it's, as I said before, it's got five different settings. One being the lowest, five being the strongest. In order to make sure that you are using the correct level, you need to test your skin to the five levels. You need to then wait 24 hours. Oh, really? 24 hours? 24 hours. Okay. To make sure that you don't have any reactions. Fair enough. So... I'm a bit worried that it's going to hurt. To be fair. <laughs> Um, from what I have read, it doesn't hurt. It just creates um, like a heat feeling, okay. like a hot That's sensation. Not very bad, so we'll it? find out. But um, mm. hopefully, it's not painful. Okay. Um, so for each different body area that you use this on, you will need to retest. So if you want to use it on your legs, you'll need to test your legs with the five settings. Same with your face. Same with your bikini line. Uh, before every time you use it. You must either trim, shave, or wax. If you wax, you need to wait 24 hours. The reason they do this yeah. is because um, the hair can't be there because it right. will burn with the laser. Okay. But the hair follicles still need to be in there. So you Which can't is pluck weird, it isn't out. it? Because you wouldn't think that you'd need to shave it or pluck it before doing a laser treatment. But, no, I mean, I, on the other hand, yeah. I guess it makes sense, doesn't it? I said to you the, hair, the okay. other day that I thought you had to leave it longer yeah. to do the actual yeah. treatments, but you don't. So that's, you know. Definitely read the manual. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> read the manual. Um, so, Tara wants to use this on her face. So what we need to do first is trim the area that Tara needs to test. So, yeah. which area would you like to test? Across your chin? Yeah. Yeah. So you need to trim all the hair off of that area. And you need, do need to make sure that you have done this fairly well. That's all right. It just tiggles. This just tiggles. This doesn't hurt. But it is handy that it comes with a trimmer. Um, yeah. I mean, I do have another one at home, but I have to say... Uh, this little trimmer is quite uh, effective compared to normal ones. Yeah. And obviously this is the Philips brand one. Okay. Uh, it's got a little battery in it, so you don't have to plug it in when you're using it. Um, Good. But it seems to work quite quick, whereas the one I've got at home is a round-headed one. That's the one I've got too. Yeah, and you really do have to push it into the skin. Yeah. To, to really get those um, like bristly hairs and stuff down. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually find that can be quite irritating for my skin. And yeah. you're like me, you're quite yeah. sensitive. I really am. I to use like sensitive shampoo and all sorts, what it was. Skin lotions, yeah, yeah. I just have to be careful. It's probably just something in our genetics. We're very sensitive people. Oh, <laughs> emotionally and physically. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just really taking my time just to make sure it has to be hair free. Okay, can you just have a little feel for me? Just make sure. Sometimes just, just double check that you've got all the hairs. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. So, once you've had a trim, you want to pop your plug in. Which we have done. Which we have already done. Here's one I, I made earlier. Are you not meant to wipe it as well? 
No, so you do need right. to make sure, obviously I know that Tara's already washed and dried her face, um, but you do need to make sure that your skin is clean and free of any oily substances, so any oily moisturizers or makeup products. It needs to be clean, fresh and dry. No oily substances. So you plug it in. This does need to be plugged in to be used. And then you wanna put your correct head on. So the head that we've got on at the moment is a two centimetre head. And I'd just like to say, I'm really anxious about this. Why are you anxious? I don't know, it's something new, isn't it? It is a new treatment and I think laser therapy, it can be intimidating. Yeah, <laughs> like laser my face up. <laughs> So the great thing about this model is that it does have built-in safety features. So if I turn it on, I don't know if they'll be able to hear that. Yeah, so you can hear like a little fan noise going. Oh, a little hoover, a little desk hoover. So it is now on and it's on setting one. Right. The built-in safety feature means that when I press this button, it will not flash unless it is settled on your skin in the right position. And then you can see a light comes so up. So as you can see, the lights come up. Now that means that I'm in the correct position. It is against my skin enough. It also detects whether the skin is too dark to do it it sees any problems this light won't come up and you won't be able to that's do actually it. really clever isn't it it is clever you know especially i mean you don't want to flash this in someone's eyes no you know it's very damaging so i think they've done an excellent job when it comes to the safety of it so we're currently on setting one so i'm going to do the first patch oh of tara's skin if tara just comes forward a little bit to the camera just so they can see exactly okay. how we're doing this. So, we're gonna do the first test here. So I put it against Tara's skin, and that white light is now telling me I can flash. So you ready for the first flash? No. No, not yeah. really. Right, there you go, oh. there's the first flash. So that was on setting one. That wasn't too bad. No, how's that feel? It was all right. I don't know what I was it expecting. It made you jump more than yeah, anything. Yeah, I was expecting like a <laughs> Fine, but no, it's just a little heat. So now we do setting number two. Really? Okay. Okay. So again, you pop it on. No, now, can you see how the light comes on and off? That's just because I'm over her chin, so I just have to make sure that that is flat. Setting two, ready? Yeah. Setting two. Mm. Okay. That felt a bit warmer. A bit warmer? Because you're going up in the heat. So, three. setting number three, you have to do it up to five. Okay. Okay. Scary, isn't it? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Oh yeah, that was a little bit warmer. Very really weird, I don't know what I'm expecting. <laughs> setting number four. Go. Oh, that was fun. And I'm just going to trim a little bit further around just so I can fit in. Test setting number five. There we go. Okay, and then level five. There we go. So now what? So, then turn off your machine, pop that back down. So, now Tara knows that she's got level one on the left-hand side of her right-hand right right side of her face. Side. And the highest level five is on your left. So, Tara now needs to wait 24 hours. Mm to see if it has any skin reactions, uh, any redness. And um, if you do, do we know what we do if we so, do? So, if... Can I go back a bit? Yeah, we can go back a bit. So, if patch test number five, mm. for example, came up very red and irritated, but level four was okay, you would use level four. Okay. If setting two caused you irritation, you'd use setting one. Okay. If they all caused irritation, the machine sadly is not for you on that Fingers body part crossed. don't forget you can then move to another body part you may not have that reaction yeah so which is why you need to retest can you see anything right and, now 
Um, no, nothing right now. Okay. Um, I don't know how quick the reaction... I, I would assume a reaction would be quite quick. You would think so, but it says wait up to 24 hours, so I don't know if that's because right. different skin types maybe react differently. I, I, I'm okay. actually not yeah. sure. Again, we're not medical professionals, so some of these answers, nope. I don't know. <laughs> right. So that is Tara's test treatment. I will do mine off camera. Um, I have actually let my hair grow now for uh, three days. Um, normally, I would use a trimmer like this. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to show, obviously, um, basically before and afters, but how much my hair grows within three days. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully, once we've done a few treatments, yeah. um, we can come back and we can show you how it's worked, if it's worked, if there's a reduction. So should we conclude this in 24 hours, see how it goes? That would be a good idea. You yeah. can um, maybe take a photo and yeah. if there's nothing there, that's great. If there is, yeah. then you can show people exactly. what it is. Um, now, I'm just going to get the book out because I don't want to say this bit wrong. What have I done with yeah. it? So, again, make sure you read this really important um, so to achieve effective hair reduction you need to follow the initial treatment schedule so for the first four treatments you use the Lumia once every two weeks to ensure that all hairs are treated treat yourself within three days before or after the planned treatment date so you need to keep it around the same day every time so like try and keep it on the two weeks on the dot if you can yeah. if not then within three days of that date um, once you've done the four treatments every two weeks yeah you can then go to touch-up treatment schedule which will be uh, every four weeks and you repeat this eight times to achieve effective hair reduction it's to maintain the results and so that you can enjoy smooth skin hopefully for months at a time mm -hmm. um, the results do vary based on your individual hair regrowth and across different body areas. You know, obviously we're not all mechanically the same. No. Um, so it will be different for each person, but fingers crossed for us, it will have a good effect. Or at least it doesn't necessarily get rid of your hairs completely. Um, it can, um, but it also makes them finer. Right. And I know for me, like when I touch my face and it's bristly, I hate it. It just makes me want yeah, to pluck them it's all a bit out. Fine, it's a bit I, I, yeah, even that would be a bit of a relief. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. To see what happens next. To see what happens next. So let's wait and see if Tara comes up with a swelled up chin or not. <laughs> No. no, you no, it shouldn't. I mean, obviously, you know, the reason you do test it is because that could happen. You don't want to put this straight on your skin and end up burnt with blisters, oh um, which can happen, which can also happen if you do not shave the area properly. Mm. There is a process to do this. So it is very important you do it step by step. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. But um, cool. yeah, exciting. High five. High five. Till part two. Till we'll part two. Bye.